Hello, my name is George Hanchieta. I am a customer service representative for Latin America. Welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert podcast. Today we'll be answering a question from Day Clean with El Proveedor Naval in Colombia. And the question is, how do we determine the correct crane block to use and how to understand the model numbers? Thank you, Declan, for submitting your question. There are multiple factors to consider when selecting the appropriate crane block. The most relevant are minimum tonnage required for the load, the diameter of the shifts needed, the minimum weight of the block required to free fall, and probably the most important, the size of the wire rope diameter the crane is equipped with. For mobile cranes, it's critical that the shift groove be matched with the wire rope diameter being used. We suggest our 380 series construction block. They come in two styles, the McKissick utility block and the McKissick Easy Reeve crane block. Although they share many features and both are manufactured in accordance with API Q1 requirements, the Easy Reeve, as the name applies, allows the operator to reeve the wire rope without having to remove wire rope's termination from the wire rope. For the second questions of how to read the model numbers of our blocks published in the catalog and website, let's look at the following chart. For example, a M50T18L will be a McKissick utility block, 50 tons capacity, three shifts, for triple 18 inch diameter shifts lightweight generic part number that will show in the website or the catalog will be 2012014 once you have the correct generic part number all you have to do is contact your Crosby representative we will provide you with the ordering number and production will proceed keep in mind that many other blocks have to comply with a specific guidelines such as API 2C, ABS, or DNV specifications. This will be had to be specially engineered. I hope this brief presentation was helpful. Thank you for your continued support to our products and services, and please continue to send us your questions and comments. Thank you very much.